Okay, today we're going to take a look at a few of the simple ways that you can download a profile to mole map software. And so if you're using uh, any one of these three mega series profilers that uh, are from ECD that you see on the background here, um, when you plug the, the USB cord into the computer from the profiler, that's going to um, present an autoplay pop-up for you. And so once you plug in the profiler, which I'm going to do now, you can see the autoplay in the bottom right here. And um, if you want to, just straight from this autoplay screen, you can do a read instrument, which is a, a profile download. And it will automatically search for your instrument and download the profile into your last used environment, which in this case is the, the basic profiling environment that we see on the left-hand toolbar. And so as this comes up, this is a, um, with it being a mega series profiler, it can store up to 96 profiles and you can see we're getting pretty full here. We've got 5% memory left and so I would need to uh, delete some eventually, but what I'm going to do is go down to my first uh, set of profiles that I did uh, of the six minute range and we're going to download the second six minute profile here and so once you uh, click the profile that you want and click finish it's going to read the data into map software and present you with the profile plot and so it'll ask you to name the file uh, once that uh, once that downloads and you'll be able if you have your own naming convention you can you can use um, you can use that or name it however you like in this case um, we are just going to stick with the date for the naming convention and we'll go ahead and hit save so it's going to save our profile that we just downloaded with the the megamole into our spreadsheet it'll list it there with the other profiles and in this case, uh, we just had regular thermal couples plugged into um, plugged into the profiler itself. And so, if I um, adjust the screen a little bit, you can see the uh, different channels of data here that we had. Um, each thermal couple was plugged into a channel, and we were uh, using pretty much all of the channels except for the last few there. Um, in this profile and so we've got about 15 channels of data and if you were using for example say a, a vmol profiler that's just going to be channel one through three for that three channel profiler or uh, the supermole gold two or the the original supermole gold are both six channel profilers and so um, regardless how many channels you have on the profiler if you just have regular thermal couples or TCs plugged into the the unit you're going to want to be using the basic uh, profiling environment which is is set up just for uh, reading regular thermal couple data if you happen to have one of our palette products from ECD such as a um, an oven rider or a, a wave rider uh, palette product for wave solder machines uh, you would want to download those into the appropriate environments and uh, there, there's a few things that are different about them such as the logging interval how often the the profiler takes a, a temperature sample in those palette products and so if you don't see what you're looking for here on the left hand toolbar for the the appropriate environment uh, just real quick, quickly, we can um, click the file menu and go to preferences. And when this screen opens up for preferences, if we click over to the miscellaneous tab, you'll see the different environment options. And so, for example, if we had an oven rider that we were qualifying our, our reflow oven with and using that palette, we could add this to our list and you'll see the environment um, appear here on the left hand side and so if you're using this palette that it shows a picture of on on the main screen um, you'd want to use that or download that to an oven rider environment and so once we've um, once we've downloaded the profile uh, then you can you can begin 
taking a look at the screen and, and adjusting things as far as your oven model is concerned. In the oven rider environment that we have, we already had a machine information loaded into the environment. And so you can see the, um, the different zones that this pallet traveled through in, in this oven. Uh, and if we, I'm going to switch back to the basic profiling environment for a moment and so that we can show the other ways to download. If you've already opened map um, or you need to switch environments before you download, once you open up map there's a couple different ways that you can download a new profile run. Uh, the easiest way really that I do is just to click the read instrument button here with the little mole icon and that does the same thing that we did from the autoplay. That's going to download um, whichever profile runs that you select from the device into the into the environment that you're currently in. And so the, uh, the read instrument button is pretty handy. Otherwise, if we cancel out of this for a moment and go to the mole drop-down menu, we can uh, do it that way as well through the mole and then read instrument, which will perform the same thing. The software will go out and search for the profiler. Once it locates it, it'll pull up the list of, um, of profiles that you have stored in its memory. And you can either just download the most recent or uh, with the Mega Series profilers, you can actually download multiple profiles at one time. And it'll, it'll pop up and have you save each one uh, to name it individually if you, if you choose to. And so let's download one more here from the list. Once it downloads, we name it real quick. I'm just going to save that with the default name. And you can see here that um, we've got most of the channels again in use here, about 16 channels um, on this 20 channel profiler. And um, in this case, we've taken the time to name each channel with the uh, corresponding component that we're measuring on the board which is um, very convenient if you have different operators that are using the profiler or profiling a, a certain board. Um, then once it downloads, they'll be able to see right away, okay, this first channel was a, a resistor um, that we want to keep an eye on, make sure we're not overheating it, and that type of thing. And so that is how you uh, download a profile to MoleMap software.